Hey, Trevor Matthews here with another two minutes with Trevor. I want to talk to you about contamination effects, contamination issues, and some of the leading causes of contamination failures. The largest one is moisture. Moisture in systems with PoE oil. When you have moisture in a system with PoE oil, it will cause acid in that system. And over time, it's gonna to start to eat at the winding and lead to a compressor failure. This does not happen overnight, but it starts from the day one of the installation. Day one. But the failure could happen four months, six months, two years because of that day one installation. So you need to be aware of this. When you pull off a head or cut open a scroll, you will see something that looks like copper in that compressor. And we call that copper plating. Other contamination issues could be this, you can see sludge, you can see uh, particulates inside the compressors because not doing the proper procedures, keeping that system clean, using nitrogen to flow through while you're brazing in the system. As well as here's a great example of copper plating. This is because the system did not have a proper evacuation, which led to the failure of this compressor. So what do I do, Trevor? What do I, what do I have to do? Well, anytime you open the system, you need to replace the filter dryer. Add a new EK filter dryer, clean that system up, pull out any moisture in there. Anytime you open that system. To pull a proper evacuation, you wanna pull below 500 microns. You want it to hold below 500 microns. And you wanna follow the manufacturer spec. I'm gonna put in the description a great video from Brian Orr, HVAC School, and you can check out a full video of how to pro pull a proper evacuation on an AC system. Also, if you have a motor burn, how do I clean up that system? Well, Emerson has a great AE bulletin that I'll put in the description that you can check out. I'd love to hear your comments or questions. My name is Trevor Matthews. Let's get a conversation going.